Hello friends, I'm Simpu from Motion Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Motion Graphic Animation Part 2. So let's get started. Here you can see this is my all layer of this Illustrator file. So this is icon characters and here you can see at the top this is the graph. So let's pre-compose this graph first. So press Ctrl plus Shift plus C. This is the pre-composition shortcut key. So let's rename this graph and click on OK and uh, we can hide this for now because we don't need this pre-composition here. So let's hide this and let's uh, this is the background layer. So let's rename this BG and lock this and now here you can start animate this little characters icon so first I'm going to animate this first layer 24 so select this layer and press S for scale and click on this stopwatch icon button create keyframe so let's create keyframe here and uh, let's put the value 0 and uh, go forward and uh, increase the scale value 105 and again let's decrease the keyframe value 95 and again create fourth keyframe and value should be 102 and uh, create large keyframe value should be 100 and let's select all keyframes and uh, right click on it and go to the keyframe assistant and easy is and let's see animation yeah it's uh, looks good but uh, I need little bit fast so keyframes little bit closer and now check yeah it's good so let's copy these all keyframes and uh, here you can copy go to the edit and copy these keyframes and let's select all layers of this little icon and let's paste so now let's press u this is the hidden keyframe you can see keyframes using press u and uh, now yeah it's good to me so let's uh, uh, do one thing let's move these uh, layers you can uh, manually uh, move these layers so here you can see and uh, you can do just like that yeah now let's check yeah it's good to me so second process we can on this graph here and let's uh, forward this composition and uh, now I need this graph here so let's um, press S for scale and uh, press shift plus P for position so Uh, click this stopwatch icon button create keyframes both keyframes and here again second keyframes and let's scale this graph you can adjust position so if you uh, on this option little action save so you can set this graph at the center point so here I put the value 320 and add to the center this red graph yeah it's now better so uh, here you can see uh, this object little bit blur so here you can on this option to click on 
little icon here and uh, go go to the composition and here you can also on this icon inside this composition yeah it's now good it's clear so let's move this graph here and uh, yeah it's now good so let's let's try to animate this graph you can increase this keyframe move this keyframe little bit forward yeah so so now let's select this all character icon and press P for position here you can create this position keyframe position keyframe and uh, create second keyframe here yeah it's good so let's let's move this character icon behind this graph so let's select this first this one and uh, drag at the bottom and use this brazier curve you can make curveness here and uh, select second character icon and drag at the bottom so let's do the same process with all icons So I have done so let's check and let's play the animation yeah I increase this move these keyframes little bit forward yeah its animation is good but uh, we can do little things here so here I select all keyframes and uh, right click on it and go to the keyframe assistance select easy and now go to the graph editor and here select first point and uh, move this point to the left side press shift and move and again select this second point and move to the left side and uh, press shift and move and uh, go back and now check the animation yeah animation is good now move this keyframes a little bit forward it's uh, yeah it's smooth it's smooth animation so here we can just do one thing uh, select layers and uh, move little bit forward just uh, for example select this 24 layer and uh, move here and now select this 25 layer and move little bit you can adjust manually these layers uh, adjust these layers one by one so you can do the same
now you can check yeah it's good to me so now yeah so now let's animate this graph select this composition and uh, create keyframes here position and scale and uh, drag this graph at the bottom and here you can see the lines so we can hide these lines inside the composition so here you can uh, hide this layer to 35 so here you can hide and uh, yeah it's it's gone so now you can see it's something wrong so we can do one thing let's select all keyframes and right click on it and uh, go to the keyframe interpolation and here you can select linear and click on ok yeah it's good and you can select this position and move little bit upper and now let's play yeah so go to the inside of this graph composition and here you can select uh, red graph and uh, press Y for move anchor point so you can adjust this anchor point manually but if you use this uh, anchor point mover um, go to the window here you can just install animation composer provide you anchor point mover so here you can just select angle so here I am click on this uh, uh, bottom so here automatically set it's a very good tool for move anchor point uh, now let's select this layer 29 and uh, press S and here you can click on this icon and create keyframe and uh, move a little bit forward and here you can increase this value yeah now let's see the animation so here you can um, adjust the animation time here if you like this video so please like subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video see you next time bye bye